80% of the fish that we eat in Britain come from the same five old species. That's salmon, cod, haddock, tuna and prawns. I'm here in Shoreham today to prove that not only is this bad for the oceans, it's also just really boring. So with so many fish on offer, why limit it to five? Here's why you might want to mix up your fish habits. Salmon was the most popular fish with our members, with 56% saying they bought it regularly. But there are some complicated sustainability issues to think about. Most salmon you eat is going to be farmed rather than caught wild, a lot of it in Scotland. Producing salmon in this way still requires a lot of wild catching though. The salmon are actually fed on wild fish. However, the amount needed has dropped substantially in the last few years, meaning it only takes 810 grams of caught fish to raise a kilo of salmon. If possible, choose organic or ASC marked salmon, which uses less caught wild fish. If you're looking for some variety, try eating what the salmon eats. Herring, anchovy, whiting, sardines are all great options. Cod and haddock are both really popular, and are a recent success story for sustainability. While there are plenty of sustainable cod options, look out for the MSC blue tick. If you want to buy a UK fish, you should opt for haddock. And bear in mind, only 1% of British fish and chip shops are MSC certified. On top of this, cod and haddock are often caught through bottom trawling, which dredges up sediment and damages kelp forests. Some research suggests this fishing method could be releasing more carbon than the aviation industry. So for a tasty alternative, you could try hake, or to save cash, pollock and coley are great options and are often found in cheap fish fingers. Tuna's a minefield. Bluefin is almost a complete no-go, but even for other species, there's massive variability in sustainability depending on how and where it's caught. Farm tuna actually requires 20 kilograms of wild fish for every one kilogram grown. Good swaps for a tuna sandwich are sardines or mackerel but always keep on the lookout for that MSC blue tick. Catching warm water prawns can actually create three times as much unwanted bycatch, and farmed prawns were historically associated with the destruction of mangrove forests. But when it comes to shellfish alternatives, you're spoiled for choice. Try steamed mussels with spaghetti, along with garlic, parsley, and lemon to create a quick, nutritious supper. So look out for these labels in your supermarket, or talk to your local fishmonger about what's in season. Thanks for watching. Click here to sign up to the free BuySmart newsletter with loads of reviews and hints and tips. Click down there to watch our latest video and click over there to subscribe to the Witch YouTube channel.